Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. It is April 28th, 2020. Uh, today we are doing sage, checking on our sage plants. So, let's get it started. Um, like always, you should have your journal sheets. And for today, your back side of the paper, the picture of our pot, so we can draw our plants. Today I'm going to use colored pencils. Uh, I put some yellow in there, and I'll explain it a little bit. I'll get to the coloring part. Alright. Today's date is April 28, 2020. We're talking about Sage. The last time we met was day 29. So, I'm going to put 29 in our little addition boxes, and it was seven days ago. So we'll do our imaginary lines. Nine plus seven. I have nine balloons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I buy seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> How many balloons do we have all together? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I can't put sixteen here. Only one number could go there. And that's your single digit six. Your ones. And that one goes up there. So now we have 1 plus 2. So when we're doing this math, I have to carry one over. It's like a 16. Here's your 1's column, they call it. We put the 1's column, uh, the 6 is in the 1 column, so that's why it goes there. And the 1 is in the 10 column for 16, 1, 6, the 1 goes in the 10 column, so it goes above the 2. Alright, 1 balloon plus 2 more balloons is how much? 1, 2, 3. I have no more columns, I raise my imaginary line, and today is day 36. Day 36. That is a herb. Temperature today is 64 degrees. Last class we were at 50. So, what's warmer? Today, 64 degrees? Or last class, 50 degrees? What's the bigger number? 64. Today's warmer. By how much? Well, now I have to go to our subtraction part. 64, put our bigger number on top today. So take away 50. My imaginary line. My first column, I have 4, take away nothing. So if you have 4 apples and nobody eats them, how many apples do you have left? 4. This column is a little different. If I have six apples, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I come to your house and eat five of them, one, two, three, four, five, how many apples are left? One. I have no more columns, so my difference in temperature is 14 degrees. So today is 14 degrees warmer than it was last week when we met. The temperature today is cloudy and rainy. Right. Next part, our plants. Need my ruler. Let's take a close up on how our sage plant is doing. 
So you see it's getting pretty big. The leaves are getting bigger. You see these like wrinkly leaves. Alright, so let's see if we can measure it. And then to my tallest plant. So I'm tangled these a little bit, which is this guy right here. Try and do this with one hand. So we get up to two inches as we're rounding it to the closest quarter of an inch. <clears throat> so two inches. zero flowers, we have two plants, so those are our two herbs. The dirt is moist, so it's wet. Do we water, water the plant when it's wet? No. All right, so you can copy that down, or wait till I finish this, so you copy from here. Pause the video now. All right, so we have our journal sheet done. Now we go to the coloring section. Now, the the base of the stem for our sage plant is a very light green. It's got a little bit of yellow in there. So when I do my sage plant, the base, I'm gonna do yellow first, because it's lighter than the green. And I'll start from there. Remember the one plant is bigger than the other still. Now I'm gonna get my lighter green and I'm gonna go over it. Just lightly. I'm not going to press hard on it. Look like something like this. Now what I'm talking about here. This is cut right here. 
See, it's almost like a light yellowish green. And then for our leaves, we're going to do a darker green. Now, on the biggest plant, we have six leaves. The two on the bottom are round leaves. And then the ones on the top and the middle are more like an oval shape. The smaller plant has five leaves, two on the bottom are round, the two on the top are more oval, and then there's that one little odd guy in the middle. Now, I'm not going that hard right now. now. I'll show you why. So there are my, oops, there we go. Those are my leaves. And now I'm gonna do the detail of these little bumps, veins on the plants. All right, I'll do that. You could do it using a black, or if you want, <clears throat> go over that dark green that we just colored, but now you're gonna press harder. Can draw these wiggly lines. Oh, are those bottom leaves with the round leaves? They're they just have that vein, that one vein that goes through the center of it. Should look something like this. For my dirt, I'm gonna get the brown. Now, some of you might be thinking, why are you holding the pencil like that? It's because I'm using the whole part of the pencil for the brown to cover more area. If I want to add more detail, something small, then I'm going to be holding it normally so the tip is a um, decorator and coloring whatever part that I need colored. But this way, I'll cover a bigger area. And it looks like this. Now I'm going to put some black on top of it. And same thing, but now I'm going to go even lighter on top of the brown. I'm not pushing hard, it's nice and soft. For my 
pot. For my pot, I'm gonna start with orange. <clears throat> Touch of red. And a touch of brown. Hi, if the table shaking the camera. And it looks like this. So it's up to you. Some people might like you, you might like using the markers better, maybe like the colored pencil better. Me, I kind of like the colored pencils better just because you have more detail. Markers are very heavy with its ink. So do whatever you like. Um, once you're done, upload it onto Google Classroom and complete the other assignments and then you're done. All right. Happy Tuesday, everybody. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.